It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Nagano Art family. And so today I got a question from Blaze Universe or Blazeverse. And Blazeverse asks, uh, hi Mark, it's been a been a while. Does being spiritual help with improving creativity? What practices do you use? How did you develop your mindset? My mind is extremely unfocused, generally speaking. And so Blazeverse, thanks for the question and the idea for this video and so we're gonna get right into it and so does being spiritual help with creativity you ask so for me being spiritual is the act of understanding who you are knowing yourself knowing your your fears and your insecurities and overcoming them knowing what triggers you knowing where your attention is going you know and and, and having intense focus on as to what you want to really manifest or bring about or create in your life so our environment the people that we hang around our, our internal state uh, including uh what goes on on the external realm like social media uh they all play a role on our focus and attention especially when you go on social media they're always trying to grab you there's always something interesting on twitter uh there's always something interesting on on facebook and in addition to to youtube with those recommended videos uh and there are tons of like interesting recommended videos that you there's like an endless chain chain of distraction when you're when you're going into that that area so you know you want to you want to learn how to control your your distraction and one of the the greatest gifts of the of the internet is that it can be a big distraction and at the same time it can be a great uh, great way to to learn certain things that you want to learn you know having focus in learning certain things because there's there's a lot of lessons there on youtube and on various di different sites vimno Vim, 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 uh tons of tutorials there so the trick is is just like similar to the mind how it, it's it's this constant chatter in the mind that you want to focus you know you want to hone in and focus on, on on one thing similar to the internet you want to hone in and focus on certain things that you want to to learn or grow as a person and so meditation comes to mind you, said, you spoke about any practices so this is a spiritual practice or this is just a practice in general you can do it you know anyone can do it you don't have to be spiritual but meditation is a practice of being in the present moment you know being in being in the now and focusing and so you're not you're not focusing on the past or the future you're focusing on what's going on now and now isn't meditation is not about stopping your thoughts it's about paying attention to what's going on now and so people have a, a anchor point so their anchor point could be certain things that are going on in the present people's anchor points can be their breath you know, they can spend an hour focusing on their breath or 30 minutes just focusing on their breath or even 15 minutes just focusing on their breath and not thinking about the future or the past and the more you do it it's it's training your focus it's training your attention you know if you can do it for for 30 minutes it's training your attention to focus on things that you really want to focus on you know so meditation there, there's meditation for breath work. There's meditation to like listening to certain sounds in nature. You're just listening to what's going on around you and you're at peace. But it's, it's essentially the act of going inward, like being in the present moment. And, and at the same time, there's also a there's also something similar to meditation that can be embedded into drawing, like, you know, gesture drawing, gesture drawing is a form of meditation of getting getting into the present moment many beginners tend to overthink what they're seeing when it comes to gesture drawing you know and gesture drawing is an act of training that intuition training that feeling so it's training your intuition so that you know what to you know what to look for and draw so it's a great uh, gesture drawing is a great way to build speed and gesture drawing also shows that the brain analyzes the brain already knows what it sees just don't get in the way and I did a video on gesture drawing if you want to check that out I'll have a link in the description or somewhere in this video or or in the comments in either of those uh, locations and yeah meditation can definitely help uh, daily like 15 minutes or 30 minutes or so uh, I know for me 
I tend to start my day, whatever, whatever you do in the morning, uh, sets the tone throughout the entire day. So in the morning, don't check your phone, you know, uh, in the morning, what you want to do or do something that will help, help aid or, or build a certain habit, you know, and that habit may be practicing gesture drawing or studying something in the morning. Uh, and I know what, when I study something in the morning, I tend to go on a, uh, a never ending loop of trying, wanting to, to discover more and more and more of that. And then I end up not eating breakfast, breakfast or something like that. So I tend to get into a very, uh, trance or, or, or focused state whenever I, I set the tone. And I know there are times where, where I do check my phone sometimes, you know, I'm human. So sometimes I do check my phone and then I you know, end up just getting distracted. Like I start seeing my emails and I, yeah, I start seeing my emails. I start, I start seeing uh, certain, uh, certain messages from, from other people. And that starts to set the tone tone throughout my, my entire day. Uh, and so essentially you want to be conscious about what's influencing you to think the way you think what's influencing, what's influencing you to feel the way you feel or what's influencing you to, to take the action that, that, that you're taking the action of, you know, what is, what is the source of the influence? And I know in the beginning of the video, I said intense focus, quote unquote, intense, uh, it shouldn't be something that you have to fight for. It should be something that you're, you're, you're excited to like learn more and more and more and more about. You're excited to like uh, dive deep into, you know, it shouldn't be something that's intense or you're forcing yourself to do something. So I don't want it to like come across as, as that when it comes to, to focus, but I'm just saying to, to be conscious and aware as to what amount of focus are you putting attention to? And whatever amount of focus that you're putting attention to, you're going to get used to it. You're going to start to build a habit of that focus. And so what you want to do or what has helped me is building a habit where I place my focus onto things that I feel are going to be more beneficial to me and my growth rather as a person or rather uh, rather in terms of skill or, or anything of that matter. I tend to place my, my focus on those areas of my life. Now it's good to start something. And when you're consistent with it, it's even better because now as you're consistent with, with a certain plan that you do every day, you're going to start to grow a habit out of it. Right. And that habit is going to be difficult to break. The more momentum you have of doing the same thing over and over and over again, you're going to get used to that new habit. And if you have a habit of being unfocused, it's another habit of being unfocused. And now the question is, what habit do you prefer? Now, at first, it's going to be difficult to adapt a new habit. But once the, the new habit is adapted, it's going to be difficult for that new habit to go away. You know, because now, it, now it's become a habit. And so one thing that helps me to focus on is listening to Laffy Hop study music. You know, there's there's always this you've seen that you've seen that animation with that girl studying and then there's a bunch of chat people there's a bunch of people on on the on the uh, the chat box on YouTube. So I'm usually on there listening to Laffy Hop or I have a Laffy Hop radio playing on my phone. So I'm always listening to Laffy Hop. It feels like Laffy Hop and and 432 hertz uh, music or ser serene music, they seem to be like the only music out there that helps me to focus on whatever I, whenever I uh, want to uh, dive deep into. So when I'm drawing, sometimes I listen to Laffy Hop. Uh, sometimes there are some like lyrical music that can that can distract us. So ly music with lyrics can distract me. However, it depends on what I'm doing, you know? So for example, if, if I'm inking, if I'm inking, like it's just, it's pretty much me tracing over my pencil work. That's, that's inking for me. So I can listen to music with, with, with lyrics, you know, it, I, I don't, I don't have to use as much focus, you know, but when I'm like thinking, 
trying to think of uh, certain panels, certain ways to, to, to do a certain shot for a comic. Uh, uh, I, I can just, uh, listening to, to lyrics can be distracting for me personally. So I don't listen to lyrics during those times. And another fact I want to put out there is that as children, we are naturally creative. We're always interesting in figuring out how certain things work. We're interested in like certain bugs. We're interested in, in exploring new things. Where we always have questions. We're, we, we're always asking questions. What does this do? What does that do? We're always touching things. You know, trying to just explore how how certain things work. We're we're curious at a at a young age. You know, and it's not until we we go through 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 the school system is when we start to like lose that curiosity we start to lose that 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 creativity you know because we're, we're, we're learning things that some of us aren't interested in learning however it's, it's really forced upon us to learn or, or to pass certain things so as time goes on while we are while we're in these schools and we're not interested in what we're, we're studying it starts it starts to become difficult to to study things that we want to study because we we've, we've spent our own our entire lives like trying to learn things that we didn't want to learn now that when now that something that we want to learn comes our way we're used to we're used to you know not not going not going full on because we were learning certain things in school that we just weren't interested in and so this is when some people start to develop a habit of laziness and because of our past experience of not really going at a full way, when we see actually see something that we're, we're interested in, that we're interested in, uh, some people will go halfway because that's the that's all that they have. That's the reference memory that they had of, of working hard. You know? And so, as children, uh, as children, we didn't have as much uh, social conditioning, and we were very free. We were always curious to learn learn new things. We were always thirsty to learn and to, to explore you know and we were always in the present moment and i feel getting back and getting back like practicing meditation or just just focusing learning how to focus and changing a habit you will eventually start to to live out your your childhood again you know you'll, you'll eventually start to become that child again you know so focus and attention be wary of where you place your focus and attention, and this will develop your new habit. That will be the video. Peace.